Jingle bells, jingle bells, jingle bells, jingle bells. Today's little babies for the day. We have this one from Costco. It's got to be a Hefeweizen. We'll get to this one in a minute. And then we got this groovy American IPA, man, from the Aldi calendar. And then we have this from the Beers of Cheer advent calendar. It's Golden Road Brewing and Christmas Cart, which I had this one last year. So we'll start off with this one from the Costco German advent calendar. And this is the term Weiss. And it's got this funky looking thing on it. I don't, I'm not quite sure what this building is. Might be something that like maybe Toad from Mario lives in. I don't know. It's, it's interesting. Uh, I had to look this beer up. Because uh, I didn't know how to read any of the things that are on this can. So it turns out this, according to Untapped, this is a Hefeweizen. So it's going to have that banana and clove taste. Or at least it should. We had one from Aldi yesterday that did not taste like that at all. So pour this guy out. Oh, and it's, he's pretty hazy. And he's not, can't see through that guy at all. Um, I think the Hefeweizen from yesterday was pretty clear. Oh, and I can smell the, the banana and clove already. And I can taste it. This is a, this is a nice Hefeweizen. Doesn't have quite a bite as some of, uh, the ones you get, uh, around here. And by around here, I mean the U.S. of A. Uh, but this is, this is a pretty tasty beer. I'll night. <laughs> My wife does all the decorating. Um, where did you get these? Off of Amazon or something? Etsy. Oh, Etsy? Okay. They kind of look like trees you'd find from How the Grinch Sold Christmas, you know? Or like Dr. Seuss drew them. Like Dr. Seuss drew the poop emoji, and this is what came out. That's not what I get at all. Uh, ah, yeah, that's what I get. So. Five golden rings. Are you gonna yeah help cat or you just up here checking things out? You want you want to taste this beer? You want to? Oh, that's nice. Okay, bye. Uh, the next beer we got is Golden Road Brewing. This is their Christmas cart, which is a variant, I believe, their mango cart which is also in the advent calendar uh this is a wheat ale so i decided to go with this next because it'd be the next closest to the hefeweizen i just had um it has it says it has cherries and spices in it uh, i had this one last year didn't like it too much on untapped i gave it a 2.25 so but you know people people grow up so maybe i'll like this one more this year uh, it has a very pale color. It's it's a nice like pink color, and it smells like like a holiday blend of spices and and a little bit of the banana smell you get from a wheat beer. Yeah, still don't like this one. Um, I. Some some of these uh, beers or coffees or whatever drinks you get, and they're like, we put holiday spices in it. And they just like throw whatever holiday spices they think need to be in there. And I think they overdone it, overdo it. And I think this is, this is overdone, but that's just my opinion. I think your feedback last year was it tastes like a candle. Does it still taste like a candle? It's less candle-ish. But still too many spices. Burnouts roasting on an open fire. Booze nipping at your nose. So not only are there trees over there on the kitchen table, but there's like a whole forest in here. We got, we got some nice pretty gold trees here. Of course we have our ac actual tree. One of two actual Christmas trees. There's another one in the basement. Then if you come over here, we got uh, these trees here, 
along the fireplace. I guess uh, if we have a plumbing issue, we could use one of those to you know, clean the pipes out. So they have a dual purpose, I guess. And then uh, there's even more trees over here. We have these tiny ones. And these also look like pipe cleaners, so they could, you know, dual purpose again. More trees over here, and a cat, and yeah, that's the forest that is our living room. Oh, Christmas tree, oh, Christmas tree. Hey, man, far out. We got our Aldi beer today. It's an American IPA, and for some reason, they decided to do it all hippie-like. Um, this is, yeah, American IPA, 5.6%. All of the beers today were about 6%. I think the Christmas cart was the most at 6%. So this is going to be the hoppy one. And yesterday, the hoppy beer won. So maybe today is all these day. The state of brewing, which brewed the Aldi advent calendar, will come up with a gold beer today. That's, that's a nice golden color there. Pretty clear. Oh, it smells. It's got that nice, clean, hoppy smell. All right. Groovy. Let's try this. Yeah, it doesn't overwhelm you with hops. It's pretty... Um, pretty light. Yeah, this is a, this is a decent American... IPA. I, I like this one. Silver bells. Silver bells. All right, it's time for our cheese. And I shouldn't have looked at the back because it gives nutritional facts for all of them. So now I know that there's only so many different cheeses in here. But that, that doesn't, it doesn't ruin the surprise of what this might be today. Number two for cheese calendar. I can't get it open. Can't do it. It's gonna be no cheese today. Yeah, they right. Oh no. This is a heavy duty box. <laughs> oh, oh, I know why. I know why it's. Oh, it's the red pepper gouda. This one was so good. No wonder it's hard to get to. They didn't want people with grubby little fingers like mine trying to get in there and take it. Oh man, this was so good last year. This tasted like pizza. I bet this is gonna pair really well with the IPA and maybe the Hefeweizen, but not the Christmas cart, because it's got too many spices and it's gonna clash with this. Mm. Oh yeah, still tastes like pizza. Cat's going crazy <laughs> for it too. She wants a taste. Oh yeah, that's good. I would say, yeah, this would go great with the IPA or the Hefeweizen. Hey Ian, was that cheese? Gouda. <laughs> All right, now it's time to rank the beers from gold to myrrh. And I would say myrrh definitely goes to, Josie, you want to reveal which one it goes to? It, go, it goes to Christmas cart. I really do not like this beer. I, I'm, I apologize to people who do like this beer. I do not like it. It goes straight into myrrh. And then that leaves frankincense and gold. And while I liked the American IPA, because it was different from these two beers and it was hoppy, uh, it's still, I don't think I would drink as much of this as I would this beer. So the Costco advent calendar gets gold today, Aldi gets frankincense, and Joseph's like peace.